good morning students how are you today we are going to learn the second part of unit 2 matter and materials in the previous class we learned about matter matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space by having volume then we learn about material Material is a substance that can be used for making or doing something is called material. Then we learn about the properties of materials. The properties like hard and soft materials, shiny and dull materials, rough and smooth materials, flexible and rigid materials and waterproof materials i think you are all thorough with this above mentioned topics now let us pass on to the next unit that is transparent translucent and opaque objects have you ever seen through the bus window some objects allow light to pass through them this help us to see through them as the window of a bus once again i tell have you ever seen through the bus window some objects allow light to pass through them this helps us to see through them as the window of a bus now in this lesson let us see how different objects behave with light how different objects behave with light first let us learn about transparent objects transparent the spelling is t r a n s p a r e n t transparent objects i'll give the definition transparent objects allow the light to pass through them so we can see other objects clearly through transparent objects once again i'll repeat transparent objects allow the light to pass through them so we can see other objects clearly through transparent objects example air glass and pure water now look at the picture one torch light is lighted in front of a glass so we can able to see the light through that so glass is a transparent object next we'll go and learn about translucent objects the spelling is t r a n s l u c e n t translucent objects i'll give the explanation definition translucent objects allow some light to pass through them so we cannot see objects clearly but we see them as blurred images through them once again i'll repeat translucent objects allow some light to pass through them so we cannot see objects clearly but we see them as blurred images through them example paper soaked in oil snow vegetable oil etc now look at the picture here one oil paper is skipped through this the torch light is allowed to pass that time you can't see it very clearly partial light partial means one portion of the light can pass through that so we are telling all these objects as translucent objects light passes partially that is some light to pass through them then we we'll learn about opaque objects opaque objects opaque spelling o p a q u e opaque objects opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them so we cannot see 
through these objects example wood stone metals etc look at the picture here one apple is skipped the light is apply on that uh, apple so no light is passed through that because it do not allow light to pass through them opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them so we cannot see through these objects example wood stone and metals etc now i want to tell all the differences between transparent translucent and opaque objects first transparent objects allow light to pass through them allow all light to pass through them next translucent objects these objects allow light pass through them partially come to opaque objects these objects do not allow light to pass through them transparent objects allow all the light to pass through them translucent objects allow some light to pass through them opaque objects do not allow light to pass through them the second important point is through the transparent objects we can clearly see through these transparent objects if we use a transparent object we can see the objects very clearly one can see through translucent objects but not very clearly we can see the objects but we can able to see the objects as blurred or some faint image only you can able to see but if we use an opaque objects one cannot see through opaque objects one cannot see through opaque objects see through the objects not very clearly in translucent objects you can see very clearly by using the transparent objects the third important character is transparent objects do not cast shadows because they do not block lights so all the light pass through that it is not stop or block the light so no shadow will be formed by transparent object translucent object cast faint shadow blurred shadow it can able to produce because some amount of light are passed through that translucent object they cast faint shadow as they block light partially here opaque objects cast dark shadow as they block light completely all the light is blocked by the opaque objects so we can able to see a dark shadow dark shadow will be cast by the opaque objects once again i'll read transparent objects these objects allow light to pass through them one can clearly see through transparent objects transparent objects do not cast shadows because they do not block lights translucent objects these objects allow light to pass through them partially one cannot see through translucent object but not very clearly they cast faint shadow as they block light partially when you come to opaque objects these objects do not allow light to pass through them one cannot see through opaque objects opaque objects cast dark shadows as they block light completely that's all about transparent translucent and opaque objects next let us pass on to light sources we see the world around us with the help of light you look at the picture sun is there from the sun light is passed to the tree 
the light is reflected from the tree and the reflected light reaches our eye so we can able to see the tree very clearly we see the world around us with the help of light objects give off light are called light sources the objects that give off light are called light sources we get light from natural light sources or from artificial light sources natural light sources example sun stars firefly etc then artificial light sources example candle fire electric lamp or bulb torch etc once again i tell light sources we see the world around us with the help of light light may come either from the sun or from other sources like an electric lamp or a bulb the objects that give off light are called light sources we get light from natural light sources and artificial light sources the next thing we are going to learn reflection of light the second is reflection of light the bouncing of light by any smooth or polished surface is called reflection the bouncing or reflection of light by any smooth or polished surface is called reflection when light falls on a transparent material it passes through it however when light falls on a polished surface of an opaque material it does not pass through it it bounces back i'll explain once again when light falls on transparent material it passes through it however when light falls on a polished surface of an opaque material it does not pass through it it bounces back so the bouncing of light by any smooth or polished surface is called reflection here you can able to see the light from the sun falls on the mirror then it is reflected to the wall this is only called reflection of light next let us learn about image when you look into the mirror you can see your own face on the mirror now look at the picture the girl is having a mirror in her hand she look at the mirror so she can able to see her own image on the mirror what do you see is a reflection of your face in the mirror the reflection of your face in the mirror we also see reflection of other objects that are in front of the mirror in the second one you can able to see one man is standing in front of the mirror so his image is reflected through the mirror these reflections are formed by light and they are called images these reflections are formed by light and they are called images next you have to know one important thing mirrors can reflect sound waves too mirrors can reflect sound waves too so they were used in the second world war to detect sounds coming from enemy aircraft once again i tell mirror can reflect sound waves too so they were used in the second world war to detect sounds coming from enemy aircraft next is assignment two questions are given one is what are called light sources name the two types of light sources the second question is differentiate between transparent translucent 
and opaque objects i think you are all very clear the assignment also you have to write it in your notebook first question is what are called light sources name the two types of light sources second question is differentiate between transparent translucent and opaque objects once again i will recall all the things we learn in the class transparent objects translucent objects and opaque objects next we will learn about sources of light that is light sources natural light sources and artificial light sources next we will learn reflection of light then mirror images that's all about this lesson i think hope you are all understand the lesson very clearly thank you students all the best